Welcome back. The New Jersey Devils opening their doors to fans once again. Starting today, the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey, is approved for 10 percent fan capacity. Approximately 1,800 guests, fans eager to get back in the stands, will follow strict new safety precautions and try to open. Joining me right now from the Prudential Center is Harris Blitzer, sports and entertainment president and New Jersey Devils and Philadelphia 76 SIRS executive, Hugh Weber. Hugh, it's great to have you this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, I like that banner in the background at the Prudential Center. Thanks for honoring Mornings with gotta, Maria with that banner. I got to ask you, Maria, how many of your guests come to your show with their own four-story billboard? I mean, I got to ask. It's got to be a first, <laughs> right? You're right. You're right. So, look, you've got 10 percent capacity. Thank the heavens above that you're able to open once again. What can fans expect when attending the games? Yeah, it's hard to believe it was a year ago this week that we had our last host of, of fans here at the building. Uh, it's been a long year, long anticipated uh, return uh, for fans. We've had pent up demand c calling us week after week, when can we get back? And so working with government officials here in the state, the city, we've been able to put in the protocols and rigor to make sure that fans will be safe through social distancing and masking. Obviously, we're going to have uh, pods of fans in, in groups of two and four that will be able to enjoy the games. Uh, we have these games go on sale for March sold out in hours. Uh, and again, so there's, there's I think, a, a bright future for people to get back to what they think is normalcy. And, and we hope this is a, a, a path to where we'll have not just 10 percent, but this will be able to grow to a plan where we'll be able to bring back 15, 20, and then obviously a full building over time. Yeah, I, I think you make such an important point, and it's the right point. Okay, so it's a path to normalcy. You've got 10 percent capacity. Right. Hugh, how are you going to get the Prudential Center back to a point where you can actually have a profitable situation uh, beyond, you know, just 10 percent capacity? How long do you think that takes? And when do you expect you, you're getting back to normalization when it comes to profits? Yeah, just like all businesses that have been impacted by the coronavirus, I think that there is um, a lot of uh, contingencies that we've been had to work through. Obviously, how quickly the vaccines will come onto the market, uh, the, the, the ability for us to have a track record of showing that fans can gather in places like this and safely do so. We've had zero incidences across sports where fans have contracted the virus through attending an event. So I think that those things will build confidence over time. I, as I said, I think the consumers, the fans themselves, are ready to come back. This is not a, a situation where we're seeing that we're putting uh, the opportunity out there and they're not taking it. So, so again, I think just continue to track how the United States in general is, is doing in terms of being able to, um, to, to bring people safely together. And then the, you'll see sports take a leading role in that. Right now we have about 20 teams in the NHL that are hosting fans at different levels. And I think you're going to see that uh, hopefully in the next few months that uh, concerts and other uh, uh, events will come back online. That is that is very good. You've got all of the safety precautions in place. And then you've got lots of positives in the marketplace. New Jersey passed Nevada's yearly record for sports betting handle last month. Bettors in the Garden State wagered $6 billion in 2020. Nevada brought in only $5.4 billion. The Devils have partnered with a number of mobile sports books as well, including Caesars, Unibet, and the Australian Playup. Playoffs first U.S. sports team partnership. Hugh, how important are these things? Give us your outlook for sports betting in the U.S. and beyond amid this recovery, the COVID recovery. Yeah, it's really fascinating to see how sports and betting has become part of just the experience, right? So um, in 2018, when New Jersey was the first state to, um, to, to go ahead and, and legalize sports betting, they did so on a digital and mobile path as opposed to bricks and mortar. And I think it was really smart because, as you said, they've already surpassed Nevada, which is obviously a long mainstay, having it approved for decades uh, out there. In just a few short years, be able to do $6 billion right now and on track to do more. Uh, surpassing um, uh, Las Vegas. The Devils have been seen as kind of a, because of, of New Jersey's leadership role in sports betting, 
the Devils, which is the only team that represents New Jersey um, in, in, in name, um, has been really a, a great platform for our partners. And so we've seen um, our fans adopt sports betting and the mobile use of, of being able to place bets even in the arena during a game as being just part of the experience. And we think that's going to continue to grow, especially with younger fans, as they see sports betting as just something they do as, as much as just watching the game and watching statistics. Yeah, and how can you enable that further with technology, Hugh? Because you're right, this is a whole nother path for potential revenue, uh, pointing the company toward further growth. Have you gotten any sense from customers in terms of how significant that piece of business could be? Yeah, so I think, that, again, we're just at the very, very ground level of what the opportunities are here. I think if you look at the demographics across the board, you're seeing uh, adoption of these platforms. There's over 20 that are approved in, in New Jersey, and again, we just have three here. So we really promote the experience here in the building that when you're here, you're either doing uh, your, your sports betting on one of the three platforms, PlayUp, Caesars, or Unibet, and um, I, they're seeing the adoption rates and and the new customers they're getting through that is being important. So I think you're going to continue to see um, those platforms use teams here in New Jersey to, to get, again, adopt new customers and make this part of the experience of attending a game. I mean, young people want to see interactivity, and that's what you're offering. Hugh, we'll be watching your opening. Good luck with that, and please come back soon. Thank you, sir. We'd love to have you guys out here. We'll, we'll hold a pod yeah, for you. Just come. come on over. Okay. Okay. Right, thank you. We, we, I'm going to hold you to that, Hugh. We'll be in touch. Hugh Weber joining us there in New Jersey. Thank you, sir. Good luck later.